Oh no, my ant queen. Why is she in the ant world? Has she gone crazy? Does this mean she's going to die? Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Ants Myrmica and in this video I'm going to be showing my Campanossus Fedeschenkoi colony. So let's get into it. So I got to this colony um, on May 20th at Antcom uh, as the mystery species and ever since they've been doing very well. This species is distributed across Kazakhstan, Mongolia, Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, Southwest China, Russia, and Iran. Anyway, this clip was taken just after Anscon, so now let's see her when she has her first workers. Now I got this really cute little shot of the worker and the queen sitting together and isn't the worker adorable? I mean look at her, she's so cute! Now the workers are just so adorable as you already can tell. I mean they've just got these big black eyes and these their bodies are light yellow and when you feed them coloured sugar water their abdomens change colour because they're transparent. I think it's just amazing. I just love them as well. They're some of the most beautiful ants I've ever kept. So I came back uh, to check on my ants and I found that the queen was in the outworld happily drinking on sugar. Um, that was really confusing. I mean, why would she voluntarily go out to drink sugar? It was quite uh, unsettling to see this because this can mean that a uh, queen is going to die or well, it's genuinely just not a good sign um, so I was quite worried and she just ran around for a long time she was just quite content out of the outworld and I decided to put her um, back inside the nest by pushing her with a brush a bit like the Campanotus Lignopurda queen in the last video So, I, you saw the colony when they had one worker, this is what they look like now. Whoa, quite a big difference, right? So all those pupa that I showed in the clip when, when the queen had her first worker have had shouts, and now they've got quite a few workers. Doing very well, with seven workers and a large brood pile, the future looks good for them. I'll just leave some style and footage of them so you can enjoy them. Doing very well. With seven workers and a large brood pile, the future looks good for them. Now, as you can see, their outworld is a complete mess, so I'm going to have to clean it up. I'm going to be using a cup and some tweezers to take all of the garbage out of the outworld. Removing the mealworm carcass was easy, but removing the cotton balls covered in ant antics, banana flavoured sugar water was not so easy. They were like stuck to the Wakushi Venus nest floor. 
so it was pretty difficult to remove them, but eventually I did it. I decided to give them some Ant Antics banana flavoured sugar water. And you can see it did not take long for the workers to notice. Most of them were more scared than interested as they were trying to bite the tin foil. Then I decided to feed them some fruit flies and again they are very scared of the fruit flies and yeah I did not feel putting them in by the way. As you can see this worker just keeps biting that fruit fly. They are a beautiful species to keep and they are quite aggressive as well. They never ended up actually eating the fruit flies, they ended up dumping them in a test tube, which I'm guessing they're using as the garbage. Anyway, Thanks for watching this video, if you want to you can like and subscribe, if you don't want to then don't, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy and trails!